So you're saying that until he enacts policies that are treasonous, then we can't label him as a, a traitor to the United States. No, I think I think that's an over. I think that's a stretch. Okay. I, I would, think, would you apply yeah. that to uh, to Bill Clinton? Huh? Who signed in NAFTA? Yeah, because because y y and here's the reason why. Um, while I mean, Rashad and I we have had this debate oh, frequently. All right, on on the issue of NAFTA, I see. Um, uh, where NAFTA can be beneficial, okay, on an economic basis. And what I try to do is to stay away from this alarmist um, uh, state of mind, whereas, you know, we're basically, um, you know, um, this is like knee-jerk reaction. Well, you're trying to, to stick to the facts. Right, exactly, yeah. okay. exactly. I'm more analytical in the sense that I want to see the facts. All right. Oh, being I want to see substantive. I, <laughs> I, I want to see because right. you know Showing uh, the numbers. Uh, exactly, yeah. exactly. Especially, especially if you if you um you, you know you want to you know um uh, um uh, maintain maintain some uh, level of decency, um, you know, intellectual honesty and respect not only for your organization, okay, if you're a conservative. Mm -hmm. But also for your worldview, you know, uh, you know, philosophical worldview as a conservative, you know, the first thing um, those who um, are oppose your worldview, the first thing they would say is that you're a kook, okay, um, because you know you run off on these tangents and you know you you you, you what they call puffery and so forth, where you, you know you you advance these allegations and so forth with with no basis whatsoever and it's all suppositions and knee-jerk reactions and such you know what you know we can all if we're intellectually honest we can all look at nafta or any mm -hmm. of these agreements and say that you know there are just and good reasons why whether it's bill clinton or george bush senior uh, senior or junior why they do these things um, that you know there are good reasons why they do it that would be beneficial economic economically is you know socially well, and so let's, forth let's look to at the now. nation as a whole All right, well let's, you know? let's apply that to nafta then and let's try and look at some of the facts as we know them to be okay. we don't have anything in front of us All right. so and, and I'll, I'll disclose to you i don't know yeah. everything that there is to know about nafta mm -hmm. but i'm willing to learn you know if you have facts out there and so forth if you have good grounding sure educate well me. i remember when uh when uh, Bill Clinton was uh, first running for office, and uh, he and Al Gore and, and Ross Perot um, were, and, uh, and the first Bush were all doing their debates back and forth. And you'll find a lot of this now, it, it's because of, you know, the Internet now with YouTube, you'll find a lot of these, these old news programs are now in clips on YouTube. So you can go back and watch, you can verify. Mm -hmm. And someone says, oh, well, he said this 20 years ago. You can go back and you can actually find it now. Mm -hmm. Which is great because you say, ah, ah, see, he didn't say it. Or what, what he's quoted as saying was actually out of context. <coughs> you can go back and you can find a lot of stuff. And one of the things that we found was uh, uh, conversations between Ross Perot and uh, Al Gore over NAFTA. Mm -hmm. And Al Gore taking the stance that what this is going to do is allow um, people down in Mexico to buy American products. Because right now, with the, with the trade imbalance, they're, they can't do it. This is going to allow them to buy American-made <coughs> products. That was Al Gore's argument. And Ross Perot rebutted that, saying, you've got it completely backwards. What this is going to do is allow American factories to move to Mexico mm -hmm. and take those jobs with them to Mexico, mm -hmm. make the stuff, and then sell it to the Americans. Right. You've got it backwards. Mexicans will not be buying American products. Americans will be buying Mexican products. That's what NAFTA does. And that was Ross Perot's side. So you had both of them, and each one was going back and forth with the other one. Uh, Gore is looking at, at uh, Perot like, you know, you're a moron, and Perot's looking at Gore like, you know, you're a moron. They're both going back and forth. And at that point in time, this was in 1991, 92. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, you're looking like, which one is it? Well, we don't know. Well, now it's, you know, we're so many <coughs> years later, we can look back and go, well, Ross Perot was right. Mm -hmm. Because what did happen, the factories did close down 
and you go through Illinois, you go through Indiana, and you go through the, um, um, Iowa, and you'll find that the, the factories there are gone. All those towns are dead because when the factory closed, the restaurant closed, the barbershop closed, right. everything that was supported by it, literally towns just died. Those factories moved to Mexico. Right. These are the natural consequences of this is the, the natural repercussion economic globalism of what what they called uh, um, uh, NAFTA. Right. This, this is what it, it, it occurred. The one who wasn't hit the most by it was Canada. They weren't hit as hard <coughs> as we were. Mm -hmm. We lost so much down there that now you know you don't you see all these years later jobs are tough to come by. People mm -hmm. have had to evolve and change to something else. So Al Gore's argument was completely false. If he really believed what he was saying, he was 100% wrong. Mm -hmm. And we have to stop and question, holy cow, someone who was that wrong about something that important was the Vice President of the United States. Now, I'll you know, give you, you gotta, this. You know, that, that, that's, that's something that grabs your attention. Uh, and, and it should, rightly mm -hmm. so. Um, personally, I'll just disclose right now, uh, I personally don't trust Al Gore, okay? Never did, do not now, never will. Uh, and plus, his, his, um, his, um... But he's uh, a smart guy. Well, I, mean, I don't know he, how smart it is, I, I, no, I, and I'm not I judging him based is. upon I, I what... He's, I think he's very intelligent. Well, well... I would have liked him to have used it in a different way, but I think he's very intelligent. Well, well, I, I don't know, I mean, he may be savvy, uh, such as our current president, mm -hmm. but and and uh, not to disrespect him at all. I'm just telling you, you know, practically, if you look at his actions, the things that he has said, how he has railed falsely against President Bush Jr., you know, saying that he betrayed this nation and so forth, uh, he has wrapped himself up to be a demagogue. All right. Uh -huh. Um, and that's the reason why I personally, and, and I, I do this on whichever statesman, I don't care whether you're a Republican, Democrat, or who you are, how you conduct yourself while you're in the White House and after the White House, okay, is very important and should be absolutely important to every American, every true red-blooded American, okay, and I'm, bo I'm Jamaican born, okay, I'm American by choice, okay, I love my Jamaica, all right. But I chose to be a, an American. Why? Because I've read what the founding fathers, I've read the philosophy that they have bred themselves on, mm -hmm. and I've come to believe and embrace it. That's the libertarian know, as, principle. As, as the principle, right. okay, good principles. And there is a meaning, an essential meaning that goes with the title of statesmanship, okay? And that meaning, you know, must reflect, you know, um, uh, you know, um, when you're in the White House and after, you, after you've left the White House. And what I've seen from Al Gore and many of them and so forth is a lot of demagoguery, all right? And, and you know, in, it's, it's like saying whatever is necessary in order to get from A to B, whether it's, regard, whether it's true or not. That does not stand up to the, the, the title of statesmanship, yeah. okay? Um, and, you know, because of that, you can see why people have such um, a negative outlook on the term politician. You know, yeah. then they call you a politician. Uh, you know, it's, it's more, instead of being a compliment, it's more of an insult, okay? Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, with regards, not to change the subject and so forth, with regards to what you said, uh, 